Hi guys, welcome back to this new lecture. In this uh, video, we will uh, deploy uh, a Windows 20, Windows Server 2019, uh, okay, in our KVM environment, and I will show you how to do that. And uh, to achieve that, I have already prepared the virtual install command, okay, and uh, with some specific, specific uh, parameters, okay. The first parameter is the name of your server, you already know that. The virtual server CPU numbers, I will choose tick uh, four, okay? And uh, I will have four gig of RAM, okay? And uh, the OS types, it will be uh, Windows 2K19, okay? This value is important to, specif uh, to be specified during the installation or for virtual parameters. How am I get this uh, parameter? It's through this uh, command, okay? But uh, to have this one in your Ubuntu environment, you have to install a special package will retrieve uh, all the type of, uh, of Windows, uh, like I can say, or type of different virtual machines that, have been, that could be installed in your environment. Me, I've already done that, okay? I have already done that and so I don't have to do it again. Already installed. And uh, when I do, when I do that, I will retrieve all the types of Windows uh, virtual machines that I can install in my environment. Okay, you can see here, I have a different type of win Windows. And in our case, we, we want to install the Windows Server 19, okay, 2019. And because of that, I will use this value, okay, to uh, specify it in the Version install parameter for OS types. Okay, for OS types, I will use Windows 20, uh, 2K, and 19. Okay, very good. So, for the next parameter is the CD ROM. Okay, the CD ROM, and uh, which will be the where we have to specify uh, the full path for access, access of, to the ISO, the installation ISO for the Windows server. Okay, next is the disk of my installations. Okay, and uh, so you have to create it. Okay, you have to create it in your environment. Uh, this this uh, this uh, disk have to be created in your environment. Let me show you. Let me be sure that I don't have yet. Oh yeah, it is not yet created. So to create this disk, I have already prepared your this command. We have to create it before starting the installation. Okay, let's create uh, the the disk and the size will be uh, one hundred. Okay, gig for the size of disk. Okay, let's go ahead. Great. Next step, next parameter is uh, the networks. You already know, the, I will connect the server to the, the OP management the networks. Okay, so I will do that. Next, another parameter is the graphics. Okay, after the installation, I will have to have access to the graphical interface to finish, finish the installation and also for the usage, okay? So to do that, I will uh, add a specific parameter for the VNC, okay? Which is the listen parameter is permitted to anyone uh, from anywhere to be, uh, to be able to have access to the server, okay? On the port uh, 6903. Three okay, and the password for access for our access to a visa VNC session will be mode. This is the password okay. And uh, the key map here, here I have uh, a, a French keyboard, key map okay, keyboard. I have French keyboard, so I have to specify the type of the type of keyboard that I will use from my side remotely. Okay, it's because my keyboard I, uh, for me, my physical keyboard is in French. Okay, so it is because of that I use a uh, specifier of this FR. Okay, FR. Next one is the disk. Okay, this disk is the additional disk which will have all the drivers that will be required for big final finalizer the installations. Okay, so those drivers as a, are within this uh, ISO. So it is important that you have to add it as for the supplementary disk. It will, I will reuse it for the installations, okay? So this is disk have all the drivers within. And uh, to download the, these drivers, okay, I have already let you the, the link, okay? You can download it or this link. Me, from my side, I have already done that, 
okay so don't need it for me to uh, do that again okay I have already uh, downloaded it uh, in my uh, folder this is this one this one okay and uh, the ISO for the Windows Server 2019 next step it will uh, another x another parameters that has been required for the installations okay the, so you have to specify accelerator and the CPU, CPU pass through okay and uh, the no console is to permit hazard to continue the installation through the VNC okay so you have to port pattern no auto console in order to release the prompt uh, during the, during or after launch of the command of which install okay so you will see it all together so let's go ahead let's go ahead and let's pro proceed so let me clear a bit of this of windows and uh, launch of a command I will launch this command for the installations let's check a last check here we go great as you can see the, the prompt has been released because of this uh, uh, argument okay so uh, we have we can continue the installation through the vnc okay i will use a vnc vnc to have access uh, to the console in order to finish uh, the installation so let me uh, launch the vnc i have already have it here like vnc viewer okay i will use it uh, from my side if you, if you got it from your side also you can download this one and uh, try to have access uh, okay and the parameter to connect to my remote uh, server here this one is a physical server okay this one is a physical server on which i'm going to install all my virtual machine virtual list let me show you virtual list okay you can see all the virtual machine which are within this physical server okay and the ip of this physical server okay is uh, let me show you the ip is uh, this one the physical ip okay this the physical ip of the server is uh, this one this is the physical ip and uh, the physical interface is this one and uh, the ip is this one so i will use uh, this uh, ip plus plus the, the port Okay, in order to be able to have access to the console of my new virtual machine. So I repeat again, I use all, I will use all the physical IP address. Okay, here you have all the, it's like that. Okay, it's my, I have my physical server here. In our case of deployment, I don't have all this connection. I have only, I have only this connection, VM. My Windows VPN connected to the management networks, okay, and connected to connected to the uh, physical interface, and this physical interface have access to internet or the, to the external networks, okay. So I will specify this IP, okay, and the port and the port. So let's go ahead. Great, okay. And the password is here. We, he asked me for the password. This password is uh, the password is this password. Okay, this one. Okay. Let me specify the password. Hold. You can view. As you can see, it is the password. Okay. So let's go ahead. Great. I have the interface, the physical interface of my environment, my Windows Server installation. Sorry, here now it is in in French. Okay, uh, I can't change it, but anyway, we will do with that. And uh, here we have the installation language and of the uh, NTP uh, the the hours and the clap the the keyboard is in French. Okay, from my side. So let's go ahead and uh, proceed. So next up. And install now okay here it is install now so let's go ahead install now click on install now okay and we will uh, have to proceed uh, one moment the installation is ongoing great here you have to be careful okay the first and from the first line is for installation without the graphical interface okay so if you choose the first one 
we will have at the end of the installation we will have no graphical interface me for my side i will use with desktop desktop okay so i will use the second one okay so be careful here don't choose the first uh, uh, suggestion but use the second one okay here it is a with desktop experience okay i will use the second one very important and next step Next step, uh, just waiting. Click on next, and we have to accept or uh, agree with the license. Okay, next. After what? Use of the, the personalizer and the, the personalizer and, and options. Okay, so install with in order to be able to install the drivers, I will use of the second suggestion. Okay, and here the pilot. Let me. Uh, Okay, upload the pilot. The pilot is due to this. Uh, let me remember this. Uh, this ISO where we have all the drivers. Okay, all the drivers are this in this uh, ISO, and it is required during the installation. Okay, here I have uh, I have put to you some more information about the drivers. We have four drivers to be installed: the balloon drivers. Okay, for the PCI standard for the RAM accelerations. We have a VIO serial driver, the NetKVM drivers, and the VIO store drivers. Okay, so you have to install the we have to install the fourth the four drivers. So let's proceed. I'm coming here and uh, ha, click here and uh, click here. Let's go ahead. The first the balloon driver. I click, I select it and I choose for the two. K19. This is for Windows Server 2K19. Okay, so if you have another type of of of, of uh, Windows uh, system, you can use. Okay, here we have you have it for the Windows 10, the Windows 11, and so on. In my our case, we have uh, two the Windows Server 2K19. Uh, so I will use this one. Okay. I click on it, I use it with some AMD because I have an AMD, AMD processor. Let's go ahead. I use it and I'll click next. Okay. And uh, click next. So the, the driver has been loaded. Just wait a moment. Just wait a moment. Great. Okay. Again, again, you will uh, look in for the second driver, which is the VIO serial. We we'll look for looking for the second driver. Vio serial. Let's go down. Let's go down. Okay. Great. Okay. For the next driver to install. Again, I will use looking for the two. Let me two K two K nineteen. Okay. 2K19, yes, it is that, this one. Let's click on this. Uh, yes, okay, I will uh, in check of this uh, option. So, and uh, next, uh, next, the next driver to uh, to have uh, is of uh, the NetKVM driver. Okay, so we will repeat of the same actions. Looking for the next driver. NetKVM a driver. This is there and uh, the 2K19. Okay. Great. After that, we have to install the last one, the Vio Store. The V Store, the V Store. Driver, let's go down, go down, and uh, restore his there, and I will choose the 2K19. Okay, so great. Here we go. After that, every all the drivers has been loaded in our my environment. Okay, the NetKVM. Just remember, remember you is for the network access to my physical server okay so all the driver are, is important for the installation after that click on next 
next uh, and the first installation can begin okay so installation is ongoing uh, just waiting for some min few minutes okay depending on the uh, of the power okay or on the characteristic of your physical server yeah, in my side it will go it will go very fast but if you are inside your physical server is uh, have a lower performance so it can take more more time Okay. After the installation, the server will will be shut down. Okay, and uh, we have to uh, start it up from manually. Okay, so the server is ongoing for being for being shut down for, for being shut down. Okay, so right now the, shut, the server has been shut shut down. Okay, I have I will launch the first uh, list. Okay, right now I can view it here, but dash dash hole. Okay, I can see I have to start it again. Okay, so here let me discover the connected again. Uh, yes, mode. just remember my password. Go ahead. And uh, our win Windows machine is uh, is being starting up. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, the, our new, our brand new Windows Server is up and running. And I will, right now I will set the administrator password. Okay, I will set it. Great, finished. Uh, the, two, the both password is not identical. It is my bad. again okay great now I have access to let me send the comment uh, control al del to have out the yes great so now I can enter the password again there we go so guys thank you very much as you can see our windows server has been successfully deployed in our kvm environment okay and uh, if you intend to have access uh, through the, the desktop okay through, through the i can see the RDP, you can you can use in other techniques. You have, you have to enable the RDP accessor to your server to be able to have access to it. And to for the RDP, RDP, your server have to get a an public. For my side, if I want to have access of the RDP directly to my Windows server, okay, I have to 
to set to visual server a public address for my side okay or perform some kind of ip forward and so on but uh, i will not do, do this one i will not do it because it is not it, i don't want to do it right now okay but very much important for me is to show you how you can deploy your a windows server in your kvm environment so thank you very much and if you have t any question feel free to ask me okay so Take care and bye from now.